This is a video that I've been wanting to make for a long time. Sorry, the sun is like coming in over here, so I have to like sit really close. And also my dog is wanting a lot of pets. But uh, sorry for the distraction. But this video is something that I've been wanting to make for a long time because I'm very opinionated about this. And I wanted to write it all down and convey my thoughts in a way that is not going to upset anyone and is also going to be the best description of how I actually feel. So I want to start this off by saying that this is not sponsored in any way by any mental health website or organization or anything. It is not sponsored by anyone. It is a completely sponsor free video. So this is just something that I'm talking about out of my own interest. Two, I want to put a trigger warning on this for anyone who is sensitive about mental health. Um, obviously it's in the title of the video, but just in case you clicked on it and you need another warning, I want to include a warning. So if you are sensitive about mental health, I would, um, you know, advise you to click away or stay at your own discretion. Or if like you're really young, don't watch this. Like if you're a child, it would not be the video for you. So a little bit of background about my my mental health um my mental health sure but also like my experience with it i have a bachelor's degree in psychology so i'm a little well versed when it comes to mental health i also have a lot of mental health diagnoses on both sides of my family some pretty serious stuff i have lived with schizophrenic people multiple times in my life i have a lot of knowledge when it comes to mental health you know whether whether it be good or bad so the reason i wanted to talk about mental health and pets is because I think that people always talk about it the wrong way. A lot of people talk about how great pets can be for your mental health. Oh, they're so great because they can help you through times of depression or through times of anxiety or anything like that. Um, and I think that the focus should not ever be on the animals helping you, but it should be on the focus of you helping yourself. So an example I'd like to give would be coming through um, substance abuse. So when you see someone who um, is trying to recover or trying to uh, stay clean from substance abuse, they uh, often have to credit themselves. Like they're not allowed to rely on anyone else for their sobriety except themselves. If you have to rely on something or someone else to get you through a mental health episode or to help you throughout your entire life with your mental health, then you are not in control of it yourself. And that is not meant to shame anyone who says that animals are good for their mental health because I agree that having animals can be very um, healing. I definitely 100% agree with that. But I think it's damaging to make the claim that you have animals to help you get through something when if you really are going through something like for example depression a lot of people who have depression struggle to get out of bed struggle to eat struggle to shower struggle to get through the day but animals 100% always need your care and if you cannot provide it then you are not being a good parent and so it's really dangerous to allow yourself to be in a position where you have something relying on you when you can not even rely on yourself so that's why I have an issue with people saying that they rely on their animals or they rely on someone else or something else to get them through a mental health episode. I want to give an example of my own personal experience of a time when I had a severe depression and um, it was the only time I ever actually had it, but uh, a time when I had it and I also had animals to care for. At the time, I only had three leopard geckos compared to now I have like 20 four um and i only had one crested gecko and i only, i had rats so i didn't have nearly as many animals as i have now i had less than 10 but having that number easier number to handle i still had a hard time taking care of and managing them when i was depressed so i was depressed back in january of 2016 and i was depressed for a period of like two and a half months and in that period of time i slept every day for like I don't know how many hours I slept like like I don't know as many hours as I possibly could sleep I managed to still go to college during this time and like pass my classes but aside from just my classes I slept and I slept and I slept and I slept and I lost like 25 pounds in two months which is like astounding I look back at pictures of myself now during that time and my eyes look so dead and lifeless and my skin looks so, I mean, obviously it's pale now, but it just looks so pale and sickly because I was literally just like losing weight and like not eating and never stopped sleeping. Like I literally, I've never been in a place like that before in my whole life except that one time. And even talking about it now is like, it's a, it's a dark place to be. It's a scary place to be. But in that period of time, I still had animals to take care of. And I hated coming in here and doing it every single night. I still did it because I know they relied on me. But that's not a good place to be at. Like, 
the animals in that period of time, they didn't pull me out of my depression. They didn't pull me out of the way I was feeling. They didn't fix my mental health episode. And I couldn't rely on them to do so because it's my job to be in charge of my mental health. And in that period of time, they relied on me. I didn't rely on them. So that's why I feel that animals should not be relied on. Um, to help your mental health. Are they like a positive source in your life? Yes. Do they bring you happiness? Yes. But the word rely is key there. And so if people talk about mental health and they talk about animals and say that animals can be a great source of help for your mental health. Well, sure, a little bit, but they also rely on you when you're in those times where nothing seems to matter, where everything just seems to be so exhausting no matter what you do like when i was depressed literally everything exhausted me walking talking eating functioning breathing everything was exhausting and so caring for animals that was something that exhausted me and having an animal should never be an exhausting thing it should be an exhilarating thing a happy thing and something else i think that people don't talk about enough is that your pets can actually cause mental stress can cause mental health issues because if you have an animal that dies for example that could send someone who is more sensitive to uh, depression to have a depressive episode and it can also cause a lot of anxiety like if they're having health problems or if they get loose in the house like people don't talk about those sides of it and only would say that, you know, oh, animals are so great for mental health, they make you so happy. There's a lot of stress and a lot of sadness that can come with having animals. And I think that it's really dangerous to make the assumption that they're just there to better mental health or to be a benefit to it when they can actually be a negative impact to it. Animals are not medication, they're not therapy. If you are having problems with your mental health, whether it be depression, anxiety, or anything else, you have to seek out therapy, you have to seek out medicinal methods, whatever you need, you have to take care of that first because you have to come first in order for your animals to come first for you as well. Because if you're not putting your mental health first and you're just saying that your animals are going to fix it, it's really irresponsible. You have to make the proactive effort to fix your mental health, to, to heal whatever trauma you may have had, to fix any sort of chemical imbalance that you may have. These are all things that you have to take care of because your animals can't do it for you. Your animals cannot fix chemical imbalances. Your animals cannot heal past traumas. Your animals are there to help, yes, to bring happiness, yes, but overall they are not a cure, they are not a treatment. They are just a positive thing in your life. And at the end of the day, like I've said, they rely on you to care for them. You have to rely on yourself to care for yourself so that you can care for them. I have to sit even further over because look, I'm starting to disappear into the, the blinds. But I hope that made sense and I hope no one is upset by this. And if you decide to have a conversation with someone in the comments, please be kind and respectful and open-minded. If I see anybody being hateful towards someone else, I will interject and say that that is wrong of you. I don't think I'll delete your comment, but I definitely will say that it's wrong of you. I mean, unless it's something really hateful, in which case, yes, I will delete your comment because mental health is no joke to me. And if you are mocking someone else for their mental health, or if you are being really ignorant towards a person, um, really rude towards a person about their mental health, that's not okay with me. So if you do decide to have a conversation in the comments, please do it with respect and open-mindedness, okay? Thank you very much. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave a like. Also, please check the links below for all kinds of different stuff, like social media and whatnot. It feels weird, like, linking anything after talking about such a heavy topic, but it's something important that I've wanted to talk about for a little while now because there's a lot of conversation about pets and mental health and about how your pets can help your mental health and I just feel like no one ever talks about like the real truth behind like how debilitating like depression and anxiety can be for a person and so having to rely on an animal to fix that for you is just unrealistic. With all that said, that's the end of today's video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!